think one of the big uh, sort of tensions in our society today is between a view that says financial wealth, money wealth, that's all that matters, and people who are oriented to that to the exclusion of everything else, versus another view, you know, equally long standing, but sort of um, under siege at the moment that says there's there's wealth in many things there's wealth in in nature in in the in our ecosystems and, and you know economists call it natural capital so they've sort of monetized it but the idea that there's inherent intrinsic value in mountains and oceans and land and trees and animals um, that there's social wealth uh, our connections with each other are a form of incredible wealth. Um, if you think about uh, a disaster and, you know, a collapse after a disaster, of a natural disaster, and money can't buy you anything, what is it that actually allows you to survive? It's connections with other human beings and help. Uh, the fact that we help each other in those contexts. And so that social wealth uh, webs of dependence and interdependence, and then time wealth. And I've spent a lot of my career working on that. But the idea that if you, if you have to work all the time, you're time poor, um, even if you're money affluent. And unless we get a proper balance among these four things, we don't have quality of life, and we don't have you know what I've called true wealth. Um, all four matter, and you can get go out of balance. And you know, one way of thinking about what's happened in our society in recent decades is that we've gone badly out of balance in the direction of seeking financial wealth, and we've impaired our time wealth, our social wealth, and our natural world. Mm -hmm.